Hello? Mr. Hello? Beal, your line is open. I have uh, actually a comment and two questions. Uh, the comment is, in case you have, this is what I've done with version 1.1 when I had an attached wall, you know, a, a partition wall. I put a garage there, and the garage only allows you to go one story. So if you happen to have a situation where your attached wall is only one story and you have a two-story building, um, maybe you guys, you know, maybe you can put a garage there instead and call it an attack. Put the R value of the garage wall up to like 99 or something. Right. Yeah, that would be a good workaround for that situation. Now the the question is much more common for us as opposed to attached walls would be the attached floor or the attached ceiling. In other words, a multi-story building with units per floor, one-story units in a three-story building or a two-story building. And that just doesn't get supported at all. Yeah, so that's something that we're we're going to be uh, planning on. We're planning on implementing going forward um, later uh, in BIOP two, um, and th it brings up a difficulty because then, according to the house sim simulation protocols, the building is classified as a multifamily building which means that all of the things that go along with the multifamily benchmark have to be incorporated. Oh, okay. So that's the thing that's been holding us up in terms of implementing that. That's a good reason. Uh, but, you know, if you don't need to follow the Building America House Simulation Protocols, you can go ahead and, and model it with a, just a super insulated ceiling or floor. Do R99 in the ceiling or the floor and call it, call it yeah. adiabatic. Yep. Okay, right. that's a good answer. Um, then onto the heat pump water heater, where we are advocating these, but we're not advocating changing the default factory set point, which on the ones we're familiar with is 120. So is that something I can go into the library and make, you know, a 120 degree water heater? And how does it de does the software then determine the percentage of missed showers and things like that? Or yes. Uh, you can go in and create a user option and just change the set point to 120. And the the percent unmet showers metric uh, will be shown as um, for any set point, or actually it's, it has to be 120, 125, 130, 135, or 140. Okay. It, it will be given for any of those options. So that that that's a, okay. Great. Thank you. And and I can 